Hey, what's up, guys? I was watching the XDC2 live feed the other night, and uh, I was noticing uh, on some of the live feeds from the pilot's FPV cameras that uh, they had their names on the bottom of it. And uh, I've seen that in other races before, and I always thought it was some sort of weird minim OSD setting or something like that. And uh, I was reading around online, and I saw that it can be done uh, on the HS1177 through the internal settings. And I remembered when I was fooling around uh, in the OSD, uh, that it, I did see something about that in the settings. Um, so with the widespread use of the 1177 camera, it's super useful to, to have the pilot name on there. Um, for anything from deconflicting feeds, uh, video feeds at races, uh, to making live feeds easier to watch, and uh, easy s channel selection when you're flying with your friends or even spectating your friends and, you, and, and you're switching between channels and want to watch who you're flying. Uh, really, there's no reason not to do it. Uh, I was looking around on YouTube and online and I couldn't find any tutorials on exactly how to do it. Um, but long story short is uh, you basically need to take the cable that they give you in the box and you need to modify it. You're going to be putting an XT6 D connector on one side and then a coaxial cable on the other side. And then you'll be using the other side just how it comes uh, with, the, uh, with the, the four cable connector on there. Um, Basically, uh, I, I read on Mini Quad Club that these cameras were designed for security, and so those connections that come on the uh, the actual OSD cable are made for uh, security camera feeds or, or tapping into it that way. Um, a guy named Boba Fett has a tutorial on YouTube on how to modify the cable, um, so I'm not going to show you guys how to do that just because I can't really do it any better than what he's done. Uh, I'll put the link to that in the description of the video. And uh, once you have this built, the rest is, any, uh, is really easy. So let's go straight into it. So for the hardware portion of this, you're gonna wanna go from your goggles using the, uh, the three, three prong coax they give you over here to the uh, coax that you installed into your OSD uh, cable bundle here. And uh, then you'll just attach your XT60 connector to there. Make sure that when you do have this set up that on the bottom of your goggles, you, uh, you hit this switch right here to turn off your transmitter and go to your direct line in. All right, guys. So once you have all your hardware connected, you're going to want to go ahead and click the center button of the OSD remote. And once you're in the menu, you're going to scroll down to the special menu and hit that center button again. And you'll notice cam title is already turned on, but there's nothing there. So press enter again and uh, go ahead and enter whatever you want in there. Something that uh, you can be identified by. And once you have that entered, you'll uh, just scroll down and uh, hit the enter button again uh, where it says end. And we're just gonna back out of this menu and hit exit. Once you have that done, you should have your name up on the uh, OSD and it'll uh, display on your live camera feed. If you guys have any questions, feel free to comment or leave me a message. Thanks.